Hey guys, welcome to the Super O Post Show where we talk about things. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the Super O Show where we talk about things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. It's your boy Stevie Hayes. And today I wanted to, to bring you guys some Spider-Man news because this is some pretty big news. Um, and obviously, we've been I brought some Spider-Man leaks to the, the table, but um, we haven't we haven't heard a lot come from the camel's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it right now. So Talking about Spider-Man, right? So there's a lot going on with, with uh, Spider-Man 4. We obviously know that that movie is going to be coming out. So I want to really talk about, you know, this whole ordeal. So let's let's uh, let's talk about Spider-Man. So this is what Kevin Feige said about Spider-Man. All I can say is that we have the story. We have big ideas for that. And our writers are just putting pen to paper now. From the words of Kevin Feige, and then this is what, 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 uh, the direct article says even more. Spider-Man 4 reportedly has a grounded story, meaning there are no cosmic threats and multiverse shenanigans this time. This means that Peter Parker's wit and skills will be tested like never before, while also potentially teaming up with other street-level heroes like Daredevil or The Punisher. Spider-Man 4 telling a story about the titular web slinger cleaning up crimes in New York could ultimately lead him to an eventful clash with Vince D'Onofri- D'Onofrio's Wilson Fisk setting up a comic accurate shutdown showdown. Spider Man Four has no release date yet. Okay, so let's be clear about this. Okay, I do I disagree with the fact that it's going to be as grounded as people think. I do think that a lot of like everything everything is going to happen in New York and stuff like like that. But I do believe that the symbiote is going to have a role in this film because in the end of Spider Man No Way Home, we saw that the symbiote is on is on, in the six one six universe. I think we might even we might even possibly get Venom in this film as well. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, and if Daredevil is in this, cool. Like, I don't really care. But I do want to see, you know, Peter Parker with the, the symbiote. I also don't want Ned and, and MJ to be in this movie. I would love to get introduced to other characters. I would love to see, I would love to, to see Harry Osborn and Gwen Stacy. I would love to see Black Cat. I would love to see other types of characters coming to this. And honestly, you have the this is the best moment right now to basically reboot Spider-Man with the same actor because MJ and Ned don't remember, remember who he is. No one really knows no one knows that he's Spider-Man except Doctor Strange, you know. So, I think it is a perfect situation to where that just happens, you know, to where Peter's kind of on his own and he gets he's solving crime and all this stuff. You know, J. Jonah Jameson's tearing him up the usual, and then he gets the symbiote. And I would love to see symbiote Spider Man fighting with with a Daredevil. You know, I don't really think we're going to get Punisher in this movie, but there is a big possibility that Daredevil is going to be in this. And that you know, we're kind of going to build up the street level team, uh, type of thing. But I do think that the ending of Spider Man 4 is going to hint somehow to Kane the Conqueror because that's you know what everything in this phase is leading up to or at the next three phases are or the next two phase, whatever the next phases are leading up to. So yeah, this is, this is really good, good news. As I said, this doesn't really surprise me. I already knew that, you know, they like, they're going to start working on filming anyways. So I'm not tripping and I'm happy and I just can't wait to see the first trailer. I can't wait to see, you know, some of the writing that's going to be on, on the scripts and all of this stuff and how they're going to story book everything. So, I mean, look, Kevin Feige saying this is a W and I have nothing negative to say. I, I, I'm just happy and I can't wait. So do me a favor, guys. Please like and subscribe and show some love. Uh, and please ring the notification bell so you guys know when I post. Peace. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I just want to let you guys know a couple of things. We do have two other channels. So we have one channel called the Superhero Post Podcast. And we have another channel called superhero post gaming on my superhero post gaming I, i'm usually streaming about everyday video games and on my superhero post podcast I, I post it once once to twice a week we usually do a weekly news episode and then the next episode is usually like you know mcu rankings dcu movie rankings and all types of stuff like that so guys please do me a favor and follow those channels as well so you can keep up with me on the daily and the weekly love you guys peace out